And it's Ken Kreitzer for CBSI Talking Business. We are in beautiful Clayton, New York on the St. Lawrence River for the Independent Bankers Association of New York State Conference and uh, get a chance to chat with uh, one of the speakers today. Uh, we've, we've met at last year's event, Jeff Marcico of the Kafafian Group. And uh, Jeff is a U.S. Navy veteran and uh, uh, talked uh, to the bankers about strategy today. And uh, Jeff, one of the things I, I really liked is uh, your comment, first line of defense is a relationship. Uh, such an important point. Yeah, I think the first line of defense, and this comes from bankers themselves, from speaking at other conferences, in that if if uh, on a rising rate environment to uh, solidify your relationships with deposit customers, you need to actually have a relationship. And I think branch managers should know their top 200 uh, most profitable customers, and it doesn't have to be a profitability system that measures it. They could simply take the deposit balances and the interest expense that they pay them because there's a lot of very valuable customers embedded that I don't think a lot of bankers have relationships with. And that's the first line of defense in a rising rate environment to retain the loyalty of those customers is to know them, to know them by name. Absolutely, such an important uh, practice uh, in so many uh, situations. Now, today you're talking about uh, uh, margins being tight because of the cost of funds. Uh, what, what, what is driving that? Obviously, the Fed, and uh, what, is, what is the advice to the banks on operating in this, uh, in this environment? Yeah, so one of the challenges when you go to conferences and they talk about data analytics, the key there is to know embedded in your customer base, there are people that are very rate sensitive, there are people that are rate curious, and then there are people that are sleepers, they use their deposit accounts for safety, soundness, convenience, transaction processing. They're not necessarily price sensitive. So I think that the bankers that know the difference between those three were able to navigate a smooth increase in their cost of funds, where the ones who didn't uh, know the difference between those three ended up with steep increases in cost of funds at the end of the tightening cycle. Very good. And uh, Jeff, you taught your work uh, going around the country talking at various conferences, uh, to many banking groups. Uh, what are some of the concerns and some of the uh, opportunities that you hear about this year? Yeah, I think there's tremendous opportunity for community uh, financial institutions to harness the data that they have because the very large banks, even though their budgets are much larger, they don't have their act together in terms of being able to discern those price sensitive customers versus those sleeper customers. I think that using data to be able to have stronger better relationships and know their customers better is a tremendous opportunity for banks. I do think that there's some regulatory issues that are challenging and pushing banks to commoditize more and more. And I think our trade associations are doing a great job in fighting, fighting the commoditization of banking because that's where community banks can make their difference right there. And many of the banking conferences I've been to this year, chat GPT and uh, using artificial intelligence and, and uh, other uh, new uh, techniques are, are being discussed. Uh, some, most are cautious, but some say you've got to understand where the opportunity is. Yeah, you got to get down to where the rubber meets the air, to where the rubber meets the ground on these technological issues, RPA or, or uh, artificial intelligence. You know, costs about... 70 to 90 basis points as a percent of deposits in a back office support to run a branch. We have to figure out how to cut that in half. And one way to cut that in half is to look at what we're doing in the support functions and how we can automate and use these technologies to make us more efficient. And Jeff, tell us a little bit about your company and, and uh, consulting practice at the Kefafian Group. Yeah, our baseline service is the performance measurement where we measure the profitability of lines of business and products on an outsourced basis. Banks are just going to have to migrate away from just using whole bank profitability information. They need to know their branch profitability, their residential mortgage profitability, their commercial real estate loan profitability. We also do strategic planning, process improvement, and we do financial advisory for financial institutions. Hey, you mentioned you have a book out. Uh, tell us a little bit about it and uh, what are some of the topics that you cover? 
One of the topics I, I, I cover is about building relationships in your deposit base and uh, how we could use uh, pricing and product management as a tool uh, to make us better at managing our deposit products. But it's called Squared Away. How can bankers succeed as economic first responders? And they can get it wherever they get books. Very good. We'll highlight that. Great to see you, Jeff Marcico from the Kafathian Group here at the Independent Bankers Association New York State meeting here in beautiful Clayton, New York. Good to see you. Thank you, Ken. Our pleasure. This is Ken Kratzer for CBSI Talking Business.